teach economics at Harvard, and one of the things we would teach our students is it's not just about the supply and demand curve, but you have to price in certain things into the model, the external costs of that. Well, today we have that as well. It's called national security. When we rely on a, com a country that doesn't like us very much, like China, for so much of our value chain, we have this externality that we're not pricing into the market. We need to do that today. And I think as we do that, we'll make better decisions about how to run our economy moving forward. I'm a proponent of free trade, uh, but it's got to make sense for Americans. And that starts with making sure that when we sign trade agreements with others, that they're not stealing our intellectual property and other types of design and confidential trade secrets behind our banks. We're moving towards free trade. In order to have free trade, you have to do two things. Number one, you have to have private property rights. Trade means I buy something from you or I sell it to you. If you can just steal it, there's no free trade. And China today does not respect private property rights. They literally just go and steal our intellectual property. Without that, you don't have it. The second thing is you have to price those externalities. The cost of being reliant for the key ingredients that drive an economy from another country. We don't price that either into our markets. That's what Senate Bill 346 is about, is holding the Chinese government accountable for their actions and for what I feel is a fraudulent um, fraudulent theft of uh, both corporate and governmental information. We just need to keep them accountable. You, it's, it's, I'm, I'm for free trade, but we got to make sure that American interests are also held up on their side of the bargain. When we do those two things, we require private property rights to be respected and we're pricing all externalities, then you actually have a free market that is sustainable for the long term.